All right, so uh, if you don't know what this video is, I think the title probably sums it up pretty well. But basically, this is a DIY where I'm just gonna show you guys some random FNAF characters that you can make just using some of the common plushies that you can buy at the store. So um, I'll show you guys all the ones that we're gonna be making. We're gonna be doing Beakless Toy Chica. We're gonna be doing Funtime Cupcake. And then we're gonna be doing Withered Freddy. So if you're wondering why I uh, chose to do all these random characters that I haven't really done before, um, except Withered Freddy, it's because one, I don't, I can't find any of the plushies I need. I was gonna do a scrap trap DIY, but I can't find a spring trap anywhere. And then two, uh, I just want to use up all the extra plushies I still have, and I thought these would be cool characters to do, mainly because I haven't made some of these characters before, and I already know how I'm gonna make them, so it's not like I'm gonna be learning while I show you guys. But um, I just wanted to make some new things, and I thought it'd be cool to turn it into a DIY so you guys could see how I come up with my designs. And then uh, you could also see how to make your own Withered Freddy, just like mine. So yeah, uh, let's get to the materials. So first, let's just show the general materials you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need a hot glue gun, always have some glue sticks, and then some nice fabric cutting scissors. Uh, you always wanna have a plate that you put your hot glue gun on so that all the glue stays on the plate and it doesn't stick to your table. Um, yeah, so those are the basic things you'll need. There's gonna be no sewing required in this video. Uh, there always are ways you could do it with sewing, but this time we're gonna do it without. So first, I think it would be important if we just start with Freddy. Uh, let's just do Withered Freddy first, and I'll show you guys all the things you'll need for him. Obviously, first thing you'll need is a Freddy plush. And all you'll need after that is fabric. So the only colors you'll really want to get is black, um, kind of a light brown, and then you'll need some white, but you'll need a very, very, very small amount of white, and I'll show you guys why. So, yeah, first, Let's just begin making him. I'll show the materials you'll need for each character as we go, but I know some people might not make every character in this video. They might only make a few of them. So yeah, uh, so that's why I think we should just um, start with Freddy, and then if you guys want, you can keep watching, and I'll show you guys how to make each character. So yeah, first thing, the most noticeable thing about Withered Freddy in the game, especially in this one camera scene, I don't remember which camera it is, it looks like he's missing an eye, and his eye is completely black. Now, I know people notice that this isn't actually the case in the game, he isn't actually missing an eye, but it looks like it is, so we're gonna do it like that, just like how I did it. So, really all you wanna do is cut into the eye. First, just cut uh, kind of around the pupil. I always save the pupils because the pupils are useful for other plushies, just in case I need a plushie that has blue eyes. Uh, I can always just save that and then stick it in the eye. So then pull out the ball of stuffing. Yes, the eyes are stuffed very heavily, as you can see, just to keep them nice and plump. And then you've got an empty eye socket there. So just cut this little area off all the way around. Make sure you don't cut into the stitching because then it's gonna start coming apart and it'll be a whole thing. So just cut around the eye. You wanna do this until there's just about nothing left at the bottom. So yeah, it'll look like that. And you've just got kind of an empty eye socket. If you want to, you can always just get those little extra bits and all that. But honestly, that should be good for now. So what you wanna do next, you want to grab your black fabric and you want to cut off a piece, I'd say about this big, just so there's wiggle room. Um, and yeah, so you've got this. Now fold it in half, and then do your best to cut out a circle. It doesn't have to look good. It can just look like that. And then you want to refine it a little. So just make it a little nicer. You want to get rid of all this weird edges, all the weird edges like this. Get rid of that. You wanna make it a little more round at all the parts. You might have to do this a few times. Once we put it up to the eye hole, it might look a little weird. So we might have to do it again, but let's try it. Let's see. Looks pretty good. It's pretty big as you can tell. So if you do want to, which I want to, let's cut it down a little bit because that is a big eye socket. Let's look one more time. Um, yeah, I'd say that's good. I'd say it looks like he's missing an eye. 
looks pretty nice. And then when you, you when you glue it in, it'll kind of be indented, kind of like an eye socket. So yeah, um, you always, what I do is I stretch it a little bit just so that just in case it's too small. Because this fabric is called fleece and it's very stretchy. So let's start applying glue. Uh, if you're not glue, good with a glue gun, have your parents help you. Always get permission too, by the way. You don't want to like burn down the house. So yeah, um, yeah, you just want to be careful. I would apply it all the way around the edge. And if you want to, before you glue it down, you could stick a little bit of stuffing in there and then glue it over it. Um, I'm going to stick a little bit of fabric in there just to add some resistance. Just, uh, I know that looks weird. He has a tapeworm in his eye, but you know what? It helps. It helps to keep it a little more plump. So then just make sure you've got it lined up with the white around the eye because you don't want to see that white showing through. So make sure you've got the black lined up all around the white. As you can see there, you can kind of see it, but if I push it over a little bit, you're not going to see that guy very much. So I'm going to trim this a little bit. Yeah, we got ourselves a black eye. Looks like he has an eye patch right now. Looks like he's pretending to be foxy, but uh, yeah. Next thing you want to do while we let that dry, get a very small amount of white. This will do. All you need to do is just cut a little circle out. I would cut it about, let me get it, about this big. And then you want to make it a little more refined. I would say like that. Ooh, about that. Oop, dropped it. Go like about that, and I know that looks big, but on a plushie, you want the pupils to look nice. So I would make it about that size. So all you need to do, place a little bit of glue where you want the pupil to be, which I think about there. It's good. And then you want to stick that guy in there. Pretty easy, I'd say. Pretty easy indeed. So yeah, there you've got your withered Freddy's face. Uh, very simple, very simple. Uh, design, I'd say. Uh, not very hard to do. Um, obviously, this Freddy plush is kind of falling apart. His head is ripping, and he looks very old, so I guess that works as a Withered Freddy. Now, there's a few more things Withered Freddy has. Next up, get another little piece of fabric. You want to fold it over, and then you want to cut a little bit up. I recommend doing it like this, where you cut out a little piece that looks like that, and then cut two circles out. Make sure they're the same size. That's why it's overlapped. Um, make these, I'd say, about the same size as the white pupil. Like this. So yeah, um, these are gonna be his buttons. Let's see if those look nice. Those work, if you ask me. So then we just wanna take those away. Let's place two little dots of glue. Again, this is a very easy plush to make. I didn't want to do this in just a video just for this. So that's why we're putting three in one video because I want to do the easy ones too. And I feel like it's better to just combine them into one video because they're so easy to make. So yeah, there we go. That's Withered Freddy so far. Now, I said so far because there's always a few more things you could add. You could always just get your Sharpie and... Um, draw some little withered marks on him. Like we'll take the leg here and just draw a little rip. You wanna draw the rips like that and then you wanna put some lines through it because they always have these weird indents in their rips like that. It really doesn't matter where you put these. You could always just put them on top of the arm. Like that. Yeah, now one more thing for Withered Frey is the light colored brown. Where did I put that? I just had it, I don't know where it is, there it is. So I'll show you guys a piece you should cut out of it. The reason we have this is just one detail to me that makes him look much better. Get it, fold it over like that. It doesn't have to be this shape, just you have to have something overlapped. And then cut out something that looks like that. Now, if you're wondering what this is for, this is for the inside of the ear. We're gonna make the dark brown part light brown. So cut it a little more. You just wanna keep cutting it down a size. Just don't make it too small. Let's see, that looks about right. So then you just wanna kinda round this, slice right down a little more, slice and then round that, and then glue them down. So let's see, do those fit? 
They sure do. And I think that's a good way to make him look a lot more like FNAF 2 Freddy because he has the light inside the ears. So I'm going to go ahead again, put some glue. Usually it's a better idea to put the glue on the thing that you're pinning down, but it's kind of hard to do that with the camera up. So I'm gonna put it on the ear. Although I do recommend putting it on this and then sticking it on there, just so you don't put too much glue and accidentally hurt your finger pressing it down. Uh, yeah, so there we go. There's one ear, looks pretty good. And the other ear still needs to be glued down. Um, let's see, little glue in there. Put glue in there. All right, and then stick it in there. I keep saying in there and there and there. <laughs> All right, there, Withered Freddy. All right, for part two, we're gonna be doing Beakless Toy Chica, which again is a very easy plush. It's just Toy Chica without a beak, with a scary mouth and with blank eyes. So obviously I have not made this plush yet. I haven't reviewed it. I haven't put it in videos. So, and that is because, well, I haven't made it. So we're gonna be doing that. Now there might be a little bit of experimentation. I might be changing my mind a few times with this, but I'll make sure that I edit out anything that I change. So yeah, what at first I was thinking was, what if we push the beak inside out and then put a black mouth over it? But I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried and I cannot get her beak inside out. So I think we're just gonna have to cut that baby off. So honestly, let's just start by going like that. Now, this is probably hurts a lot of people because uh, Toy Chica is kind of rare. Uh, she's like 40-ish dollars and it kind of hurts me to do, but at the same time, it's worth it for science. So. We're just gonna keep going. So that's why we could not push her mouth inside out because there is a little uh, back there holding it in. So yeah. All right, next up, let's just keep cutting. Hope this plushie goes well. If it doesn't go well, <laughs> I'm probably just gonna not upload this or I'm gonna edit it out. So yeah, uh, let's keep going, keep going. There we go. Looks kind of weird so far, I know, but we might just have to give her a big mouth which may look weird, but you know, we'll give it our best shot. So yeah, first time for everything. First time doing a beakless toy chica. There we go. Now that's her without the beak. Boom, done, end of story. No, I'm just kidding. So let's cut this off here. I don't like that, it's being annoying. Shove that stuffing back in. So yeah, we've got that. Um, <laughs> Very weird looking. Uh, She has like a little mouth. <laughs> Okay, so first thing I think we should do, let's get black. Let's cut about here. Let's fold it in half, I would say. And then I'm gonna cut out just what I think the mouth shape should look like. This might be way too big. Yep, way too big. But that's kind of what the mouth I'm going for is. Not that size though, don't worry. So let's scale it down. I think it's about good height, but length it is not. So let's totally shorten that. Maybe more. This again, first time making this plush. Um, so as you can see, that's about how big I would want it, except for the fact that you could see a little bit of her bake up there. So we're I'm gonna go ahead and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some glue. I'm gonna put it right here, I'll put it right up there. And I'm gonna put a lot of glue. <laughs> and I'm going to smush that a little bit, hoping that it'll glue down. And I'm just gonna have to hold it like this for a couple minutes, so I'll be back after it's done gluing. All right, you guys, so we have glued the mouth in. Looks really weird, but it's pretty firm now. Uh, let's just see if this covers it up now. Um, let's look. Um, so now that the way it's angled, it kind of doesn't cover it on the here. So <laughs> we're going to cut a new one. But like I said, this happens literally whenever you're making a plush. You've always got to revise things. So I'm going to keep this part in because I want to actually show you guys how you can improvise and stuff. So again, cut big mouth. There's kind of a big shape. With Toy Chica's mouth, her beak mouth, or beakless mouth, there's always like these little curves at the top to look like a smile. Let's see. 
obviously very big, so I think that's the right shape, though. So let's trim it down. And we need to make the bottom flat so that it can cover up that nastiness on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to cut one off screen, and then I'll show you guys if I get one that's good. <laughs> All right, so I have cut another mouth. Um, this is, again, very big, but to me, personally, I think that it adds style. It adds character to it. So we're going to give her a giant grinning smile. She removes her beak, and then she can show her beautiful smile that somehow hides underneath that small beak. So let's put glue. All the way around this boy. This boy. Get all the way around. Uh, there we go. Put some in the middle, of course, because you got to have glue in the middle. And then let's stick it smack on there. So there we go. Always make sure it's lined up with the thing you're gluing it over so that you don't show it underneath. Now, if you wanted to, you could always go around, stick some glue right under the edge, but personally, I think I'm fine like that. I think it looks good. Now, she has a crazy smile, but you know, whatever. It still looks good in my opinion. So, <laughs> let's keep going. Next, we'll do the eyes. So, we're, most of this is just cutting and gluing today. These are, again, very simple, simple plushies. So, let's cut out a shape. We're going to be covering both eyes with black. We need to cut it about the same shape. I think that works really well, actually. So let's take a look. So we don't want anything showing through. We're gonna do it like this. I think those are perfect. And then you can still see the little uh, eyelashes sticking out the side, which adds a good touch. So I need to put a new glue stick in here. Actually, not yet. Still has some glue left. So let's just start gluing these on. I think these were the perfect cut uh, I don't want to burn myself. Don't want to burn myself. Alright. Get it. Get it. Get it. Ow. Oh, I can feel the heat. Alright. There we go. Let's plop it right on top of the eyes. Make sure you line it up with the mouth. So, like, just like that. And then make sure you can still see the little eyelashes sticking out the side. Just so people know she's a girl. <laughs> uh, now you want to Go to the other one. There's some little stuff there, so I'm going to cut that off. Uh, this eye is obviously much bigger than the original eye, but again, I trust me, I just see it in my head. Once it's done, it'll look nice. Uh, so let's get glue around here. There we go. That should be enough. More than enough. Let's just plop it, just like the other one. There we go. This one goes a little closer to the eyebrow. So you can always just pull that down a little bit and just smush that there. Dang, that actually turned out really well. I'm actually happy with that. It looks super goofy and it looks kind of like the marionette. But once we add pupils and teeth, I think it'll look good. Um, so yeah, let's grab some white fabric. You only need about that much. Really, you can just conserve a lot of it. So we're going to cut out two white pupils similar to... Uh, the ones on Withered Freddy over there. So yeah, I could have just called this video FNAF 2 Plushies, custom DIY, but we're making Funtime Cupcake after this, so he is uh, not FNAF 2. All right, there we go. There we go. There, let's see, that is nicely shaped. Yeah, I think those are nice. <laughs> she looks very scary, I know, but uh, let me fix this a little bit. These are very weird. These are probably going to get made fun of. Th this plush, I mean. <laughs> but I like it. I think it adds style. And I'm definitely going to use this in videos because it's funny looking. So let's add some glue. Right there. Add glue right there. Stick it into the eye. Never make them look cross-eyed or anything, guys, by the way. Funko, uh, the one thing I don't like about FNAF plushies often is that they all have... Strange expressions. So, there we go. Um, think about there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. 
<laughs> Very goofy looking so far, but you know what? It, it looks like how she does in the game. Just very happy. Um, now for the teeth. Um, the teeth are endoskeletons, so let's get some gray. You might want to use a little bit of a darker gray, but personally, I think this will work. I think, uh, again, first time making this plush. One thing you could do is if you had an extra twisted wolf, you could cut his endoskeleton teeth out and glue it on there because this is a little bit of a thick fabric and it's going to stick up a lot. But we're just going to try it out, see how it looks. If it looks absolutely terrible, we're just going to trash this plush. But if it doesn't, then great. So how I think you should do it, cut, get two layers like this. Sorry if I've been talking while I'm cutting. Hopefully you guys can just follow along with what my hands are doing, even if my voice is not talking about what my hands are doing. So you want to do it like that. Make sure they're all connected so you're kind of making a line of teeth. I feel like this will be the easiest way to do it. Uh, there we go. All right, um, we'll probably refine this a little bit. There we go. So you've got two sets of teeth like that. If you put it in the mouth, obviously that's very big. So you wanna cut it down, make sure they're just at least barely connected, just so you don't have to glue them all individually. You can cut down into the areas. I think that is perfect. Let me cut this a little bit. Oh, I'm really scared they're gonna fall apart. So, let's see. That, for a top jaw, it looks goofy, and I think it works. So I'm gonna go ahead. This might be a little bit of a challenge, so let me put some new glue in the glue, the glue gun. But, oh, come on. All right, it's not working, whatever. <laughs> All right, so make sure you don't burn yourself. This might be hard. So just put one dot of glue, tiny dot, um, along the teeth. I kind of just put a small line across the teeth. I was trying to do dot, but ooh, it's falling apart. Come on, come on, come on, Terry Chica, come on. All right, there we go. So just want to lay those across. Try to get them, oh, that. <laughs> uh, so just push them to where they belong. I'd say about there is good. Uh, they're a little uneven. Uh, they're a little bit to the side. So I'm gonna take one of the little cut pieces right here. This is how you imp improvise, guys. Uh, cut a little bit there. And then we're just gonna glue an extra tooth on the end. So let me just get some glue. Stick it right on there. There we go. Uh, and then I'm just gonna glue it in there. Um, yeah, honestly, for as goofy as it looks, I think that works. Now, if you do want to do bottom jaw teeth as well, just get that other piece that you cut. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna only glue three teeth on the bottom. And then you want to cut along it once again. Oh, a tooth came off. Let me look. Would that look good? No, I don't think it'll look good with bottom jaw teeth. I'm going to keep it with just top jaw because the teeth are really big and it'll look weird if they're like closed together. Kind of looks like Nightmare on <laughs> the more I think about it, but I like it. I think it's goofy. I think it's funny, uh, Morty, and I think it'll look good in videos. So yeah, let's go to the final one. Final plush that we're doing today is Fun Time Cupcake. All you're gonna need for that guy is obviously, well, a cupcake plush. So, um, what you'll want to get is is gray, white. You'll probably want some black too, so always get your black. And then I recommend having a dark gray and then a pink. Now, this one is not one I've made before, and this one I'm a little bit afraid to do, mainly because I don't really remember what he looks like very well. I do know what he looks like, but he's just kind of a weird design. So we're just gonna go right into it. Honestly, most of this is already Funtime Cupcake. The only things about it that aren't is the candle and he has teeth. Now his body is a little bit more orangey, so if you really wanted to, you could cover this completely in orange, but I think it'll look too thick, so that's why I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna keep the body how it is, but I'm gonna peel this up, I'm gonna add teeth, and then I'm going to, you know what, let's just do it right now. 
I'm gonna completely make a new candle because this candle just isn't gonna work. I would though keep this end because the actual tip of it you're gonna still use. So <laughs> now he does not have a candle, poor cupcake. But whatever, let's get right into it. I think first we should do the teeth. Um, he has kind of a little box mouth, so we're gonna cut that out first. So get um, fabric kind of like this, fold it over, slice, 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 slice. There you go, you've got a box. See, uh, you wanna fold these up, put that underneath. Come on, stop being annoying. All right, so kind of like that. Uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. First, I'm gonna glue that in. I know you're probably wondering, you're like, Frankie, that's not done. I know it's not done, but I'll show you why I'm gonna glue it in right now, how it is. Cause there's ways you can change it. So let's peel that up. Please do not come undone while I'm gluing. That will hurt my hand with, oh, it's coming undone. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, that's, that's a hard part. Have someone else hold those parts up while you're gluing that in. So glue it just about like that. And then, so then you can measure, I would say about here, cut about here. Cut it all the way across evenly. And then you've got yourself a little mouth like that. So that's firmly glued in. Then you just wanna add some glue to the bottom, this part, like that. That's more than enough. And then just pat it down. You might see glue come out the bottom, but that's good because that means it's sealing it right around the edge. There you go. You've got yourself a mouth. Now you can always round the edge. You can always just do that. So yeah, <laughs> he's got a little mouth like that. Um, his eye color, by the way, stays the same. I forgot to mention that. So you don't really need to do anything with the eyes. Now, let's do the teeth. Uh, the teeth are going to be a little bit of a pain but I think that we can do them similar to Funtime Chica's teeth. So if you don't know, Funtime Cupcake, I mean Toy Chica's teeth, by the way. Funtime Cupcake has long, sharp teeth. They look really similar to Nightmare Cupcake Plush's teeth. If you had two of him and you didn't care about destroying it, you could just cut his teeth out and put them on this one. But I don't want to destroy my duplicate, so we're going to just make new teeth. So... Make something that looks like this. I would say cut it about, I'm gonna cut it right here. And then you're, we're gonna use this to cut teeth out. So make sure it's even, perfect rectangle. That's almost perfect. <laughs> there we go, that's about good. Then you just wanna cut, 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 cut. And you just keep going along, doing the same thing. Make sure they're all about even. I think that's enough teeth. Now we have two. Now we've got a good amount of teeth here. As you can see, we've got about 10-ish teeth. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'll just start gluing them in. So you wanna peel this back up. I would recommend putting one tooth down the middle. So put a good dot and then kind of smush it down about that far. Get a tooth. You wanna put the flat side on the outside just so it doesn't look all weird and fuzzy. And then you just put it like that. So once you fold it back down, it's kind of covered up. <laughs> it looks really weird, I know. But you know, I think it works well as a tooth. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna glue a bunch on the top and I'll be back. Okay, so we've got all the teeth on the top. There's a little bit of glue showing through there. So once that dries, I'm gonna cut that off. And I know these look really weird. I agree, they look weird. But once we add the bottom teeth and then we add a few more details, it should look a little more normal. So let's add some glue there. Now we're just gonna kind of under or loop through the teeth through each other. So that kind of just, it's a closed mouth. This is a big tooth, that looks weird. But yeah, uh, I think it looks really good with this over it. Some of the teeth are uneven. If you wanna cut them a little more specific so that they actually fit a little more, fit a little better, go ahead by all means, you can do that. You're plush after all. This is mine, and I think I like how this looks so far. He's got really big teeth, guys. He is going to chomp you. Like, honestly, his teeth are scarier than Nightmare Cupcake's teeth, and that doesn't make sense because he's not a nightmare. So, or a twisted one for that matter. So, let's keep adding the teeth. 
I think this is looking good. I'm gonna keep the camera on with these teeth just so that I don't have to keep cutting it because it'll make it easier to edit this video. <laughs> so let me add that. And then let's pick one more tooth. I think this one's good. Go. There we go. So he's got a big jaw full of teeth that are all overlapped. Just pat them down. If you want to put more glue, go ahead. But I'm happy with that so far. Now, one more thing I think we should add. So Nightmare Cupcake, or I mean Funtime Cupcake, has kind of a, a ring of orange all the way to bottom. And it kind of looks like a bottom jaw. So I think I'm going to kind of do that, but I'm going to make it a little bit different. So you want to get your uh, brown color that we used. I'll show you guys what I mean here. You want to get that brown. So this brown, this one, we used it for the ears. So you want to get this brown, and then you want to have a long piece and fold it all the way over. And then you should cut evenly all the way along for as far as you can go. Make, again, make sure this is a big piece, so evenly like that. And then I would say about that thick. And then cut. All right, so there you go. Um, I'm gonna do a little more just so that it looks nice. There's no little divots. Uh, and then we go, go along here. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. So let's move him. I think what I was planning to do was I was gonna glue it over the teeth like that, and then all the way around, and then I was gonna glue it under, which should work. Uh, yeah, let's try it. So, first I'm gonna put some glue just along the, come on glue gun, put some glue just along the bottom of the teeth here. Put some little on the side too. Some people I know don't like ruining plushies for customs. Personally, I think it's really fun. So, it's just up to you guys. So, there we go. Like that. Uh, yeah, so you want to just make sure those are nice over the teeth, because then it covers up the bottom of the teeth. That looks really weird. Yeah. So, this isn't going to go all the way around, obviously. You could cut it to go all the way around, but personally, to me, I think you should just make it so that it goes evenly around. So, yeah. Um... Wow, it matched up right where the tag is. I'm gonna cut the tag off because it is annoying me. There we go. So, let's put some glue. Now that we have it attached, you can just put glue, come on glue gun, put glue all the way around on here. So let's just stick it all the way around. Like that. So you've got yourself a nice smooth bottom to that. You could also put it in here if you wanted to to make it even but I think it looks better. I keep saying that. I just personally, it'll look good with like a big bottom jaw all the way around. So add that, there you go. And then you can just grab the part without the glue, stretch it all the way around, there you go. So now we have that. As you can see from the front, when we fold it down, he's got like a scary little bottom jaw mouth there. So um, now all we need to do, honestly, is just put some glue. You could you could just cut this off now, but I think it'll look better if we fold it under. So put some glue around the edge of each of the or of the bottom jaw part, and put it all the way around. There we go. And then so I suggest pushing the front down first, and then try not to put any wrinkles until the back because there is going to be some wrinkles. But try to keep the wrinkles in the back because usually you're not looking at the back. You're usually looking at the front of the plush. So it wouldn't matter. So there we go. Uh, wow, this is turning out really well. I'm actually really happy with this. So once you've got that all glued down, make sure it's nice and flat like that. That rhymed. All right. There we go. So there you've got Funtime Cupcake uh, Body. Now, once this is dry, I'm gonna cut these little weird parts off just so that it's nice and flat on the bottom. You could even just cut a circle out and just put it on the bottom, but I don't think it's necessary. <clears throat> there we go. Let's kind of push it down farther. That looks really cool. In the back, you could just add some sort of little thing. 
uh, just to make it so that those meet up, you could add some like maybe some pink frosting coming down because you never see the back of them, so we don't know what the back of them looks like. But yeah, that's what I've got so far. Next up is the candle. So you're all probably wondering, Froki, uh, the only thing that's different about the candle is that the blue is actually pink slash purple. But to me, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna take it one step further. We're gonna make a brand new candle. So get your white, get your white fabric, which I'm grabbing here, cutting some out. All right, this is really easy. I'd say this is probably one of the easiest things we've done today. Uh, you wanna get a piece kind of about this size. And then honestly, just roll it, just start rolling. I'd say roll it about this thick. Mm, maybe a little more, maybe go a tad bit more, like that, about that thick, and then cut it. You are using a lot of fabric here, but I think it's worth it. So make sure it's rolled nicely. Then you want to, I'd say cut about here. Ugh. Then we have that extra just in case we mess up. But then you want to fold it over. You want to glue it down. Get some glue. There go. There we go. So just glue it. And then you've got yourself a nice candlestick. Uh, and then we just want to cut off that extra part there. Maybe you make it nice and flat. Speaking of, let's cut these parts off now, now that he's dry. You see, you just you can cut off any little extra bits that are sticking up just so it looks nice and flat like that. That rhymed again. So now we've got our candlestick. Kind of bendy, kind of uh, kind of not very um, stable, but it, it works as a candle. You're not going to be like holding him and like swinging him by the candle, I assume. So yeah, next up, let's get the 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 little actual flame back on top. So just put a puddle of glue, get your flame, and just right back in the top there. There you go, you've got yourself a candle again. So we're gonna be gluing that back on him. Kind of a tall candle. Uh, I might shorten it just a little bit. Maybe like, you know, like that much. Uh, yeah, that looks way better. So while we wait for that to dry, we're gonna cut out um, the pink. So get your pink color, uh, about that color. Cut a little piece. I'll show you guys what that piece looks like in a second. Um, I'm trying to decide how big to make this. I think this is good. So get a piece kind of like this. Fold it all the way down. Make sure it's kind of flat on one side so you don't have to cut all the sides. And then just, um, I'd say about this thick. Cut all the way down. Cut the end off. And then you've got yourself the actual color that we're gonna be wrapping around the cupcake uh, candle. So let's we'll start with the back because the back is what looks the worst. Let's put that little dot and then you wanna put that right there. And then let's wrap it around just to make sure it works. Yep, that's gonna work nicely. What you even could do is now that we have that, you could just glue the top part down and not worry about the rest until we glue the top. So just glue the top like that. And just put it just right along the top there. I think that's the perfect place to put it because it goes right into the area where the flame is coming out. So just cut off those little bits. And then you've got yourself that. You can always just stick glue underneath here. I don't think it's needed because now it's glued at both ends. It'll stay very easy. So yeah. You've got yourself an easy candle. You could always just wrap it around the blue, but personally I think it's kind of hard to line it up with the blue and not see any blue underneath. So I think it's better to just make a completely new candle. Now to glue it back on, you probably have already guessed it, just puddle of glue, just like that. And then just right on top. Pretty easy if you ask me. Scary fun time cupcake right there. I mean, when I say scary, like, I don't want that thing to bite me. So yeah, we've got ourselves a pretty nice fun time cupcake. I'm actually very happy with this. I think the best one we made today, um, I'm gonna give it to fun time cupcake just because I've already made a ton of Withered Freddy's before. And then worst, the worst one we've made so far is a uh, uh, Toy Chica. I think it could have been better, but yeah. So three easy DIY FNAF characters that you guys can do. Comment down below, which ones would you guys want me to do next? 
Uh, would you want me to just do more things like this, like random characters? Like I could always do phantoms, which I could do a bunch in one video. I want to do the jump scare characters because I do have some extra fun times that I could do open face play ones. Uh, Morty. I could always do, um, hmm. I'm thinking I could do the rest of the withereds. Like I could do withered uh, Chica and Foxy. And then uh, honestly... If there's anything else, like comment down below. What do you guys want to see me do? Because I always read the comments, I always see. I'll usually pin a comment and say, the next one will be blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking the next one will be jump scares. And lest I can get another spring trap plush, it'll be scrap trap. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Comment which one you guys made. Or maybe you made all of them. Or maybe you made none of them and you just watched for fun. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next... Oh my god!